Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm here today to bring you the much requested Orisa Pixel Spray. I've been trying to get this achievement basically since Orisa came out, and I really wasn't having much luck with it. I'd played a ton of Orisa, and actually felt like I got a really good feel for the champion, um, her strengths and weaknesses, but I wasn't able to get this achievement, and I had no idea whether or not I was even coming close. Honestly, my biggest frustration with this achievement was that there wasn't really a good way to measure how close you were getting. A lot of achievements are elimination based, which makes it really easy to see how close you get. You pop a reaper alt and you kill three people, well, you were three quarters of the way there. Other achievements work off of measured metrics, like Arissa's cute spray. You can look at the number before you pop it, and then look afterwards to tell how close you came. Arissa was frustrating though because there's no sort of visual status indicator or anything like that that signifies how long halt lasts. So how long do I have to deal damage to somebody after I halt them? I literally had no idea. And I never really figured out the answer to this one because the way I got this achievement was pretty dramatic. But if anybody else got the achievement in a different way, leave a comment in the chat so that maybe other people can get a feel for how much time they have. Anyways, I had worked out a basic strategy for how I wanted to do this, and like all good things, it starts with a Zarya ult. My figuring was that if Zarya threw down an ult and pulled everybody together, I could throw my halt on top of that crowd of people, and it would technically count as pulling them even though Zarya's ult was really the one doing the work, and then we would just hit him with some other big ult like a Hanzo ult or a Junkrat ult. And then bam, thousand damage, pixel spray, wine and feasting, and ride through the city on your chariot in victory. Unfortunately, the problem with this strategy, as is the problem with many Zarya alt based strategies, is that as soon as Zarya's alt goes down, all the defenses go up, and to make matters worse, you have an unknown but probably short time to deal the damage exactly after your halt goes off, so there's really not much room for forgiveness there. I tried just getting this in quick play by myself, but the level of coordination this requires is just too much to do it by yourself. Of the gigantic stack of Orisa quick play games that I have on my hard drive, this was about the closest that I ever came. Oh my gosh, hold still, you big. Get wrecked. Oh my, finally! <laughs> that was dumb of me. Don't try it. Wade through the alting reaper. Just trying to headshot the widow. Alright, dude, Ryan's got his ult. May's got her ult. May does not have her ult. Oh, right. I'm ulting. Oh, did you get it? How did, did I not get, get that? Not I pulled four people into his ult. Four people. Who'd you pull into? Um, Winston, Zarya, Reaper. Okay, what? Yeah. You didn't get it after that? I did not get it. What? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go look at it. So I did go back and look at it after the game, and here's what I found. Right here is where Junkrat's ult goes off, killing four people. And right here, a fraction of a second later, is where my halt goes off. Literally a fraction of a second away. <sighs> so what do you do when you've failed to get an achievement after trying over and over? Well, obviously you call in your friends and make them suffer alongside you. And that's exactly what I did to get this achievement. I blew the horn of Helm Hammerhand and summoned Mizra and Sparrow to help me out. Ouch. My body. I'm almost up to 60. Alright. Oh, 
Oh, I really hope they rework Arisa Salt. What do you want from it? For it to be not total garbage. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, my bubbles are needed. Oh, damn it, Genji, hold still. Alright, how's your uh, ult up? I'm dead. Ah, oh, the Samba is murdering me. At least I killed Genji. I'm at 70%. So when do we do the pull in the ult? Uh, as soon as the ult's out there, I'll just throw my pull out. I think it, if you can, uh, if if Mike can ult while you do it, then that ups the damage of your rip tire. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Definitely. That's just an idea. That's kind of an extra. No, I like it. <laughs> Get out of here. Ha, oh, we killed someone. You. Teamwork. Alright, team. Been here all a lot. Oh, damn it. Thomas got her. Bean's here the whole time. Oh, are you spamming Sombra's home? She's hiding in the little... Yeah, she's oh, back she there now. Back. Yep. Yeah, she's Sorry, a bubbles. Why? She made it out of that time. Soldiers. Soldiers being a dick. And I just used my bubble. Alright, shields up. My ult's up though. God soldier. <gasps> Whoa! Dear Lord. Ow. Oh, Ooh. I'm in so much pain right oh, now. Oh god. McCree's in here. It's a sad time. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love Arissa's new shield. Oh, oh, your ult is up. I'm on my way back. Okay, okay, what's our plan? What's our plan? Alright, Zarya ult, then I pull, then Junkrat bomb. Our our plan takes place at 12.01 p.m. Okay, well, is that now? Should I do it? I died. Go, go, I'm now! Dead, do dead. it now, do it now! No, I was hacked! That was not effective. No, no it was not. It did not get better. The challenge of coordinating everything into that split second was just next to impossible. But then Sparrow, who's like a thousand times smarter than I am, had a brilliant idea. Rather than try and coordinate some massive string of events in order to get this achievement, she was like, why not D.Va alt? And I was like, oh. And then we got the achievement. Check it out. Uh oh, uh oh. About face. Alright, all right. we are. We all ready? Ready. I'm gonna do it now. Hell yeah, dude! Whoa! Whoa! Did you so, I'm gonna pause right there. This was such a cool way to get the achievement, I had to go back and get a better camera angle of it. So I went and got Sparrow's footage, and she can see it a lot better than I can. Watch this. Oh god damn! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. GG, my dudes. That oh, godly was cool as hell. <laughs> and there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the long-awaited Arissa Pixel Spray. So, a little advice for anybody who's trying to get the Arissa Pixel Spray. Number one, do not try this alone. Get some friends. If you don't have any friends, I'm sure you could make some friends in the comment section because all of the commenters on this channel are awesome.
or you could pay some people to be your friends, that is always a valid option. If you don't have any money to pay them, you can threaten them to be your friend, that works too. But get some friends, work together with them, it's just too hard to pull off the coordination without it. Number two, use Diva Alt. It does enough damage that it'll instantly kill anything it comes in contact with, which isn't always the case with something like a Junkrat Alt, so in order to get that thousand damage, Diva Alt is really helpful. Number three is use a Sombra Alt. This was actually Misra's brainchild, and you could see in the video that he jumped in and dropped a Sombra Alt in the middle of their group. I'm not sure if it actually made a difference or not, since Orisa's shield broke right before the alt went off, but it's a really good ability for going in and knocking out people's potential defenses, and it can definitely make the difference. Number four, and this is kind of just good strategy with any D.Va alt, is to find a map with a good choke point where they tend to group up, and then throw the D.Va alt blind around the corner. That'll delay the enemy's reaction, and you as Orisa can throw your halt state out a little bit later, and then just as they see the D.Va alt come in, your halt state grabs them, holds them in place, and they all get blown up. So yeah, that's my recommendations. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, good luck getting those sprays. I'll see you next time. Ultimate is ready!